Hello everybody. So we're going to make our slime. I've got six ounces of white glue and we're going to put that in. Squeeze it all out. Get it all in. I'm going to use this little disposable knife. I'm putting everything in disposable containers so it will be easy for clean up. And next thing we're going to add is baking soda. Okay, we need one and a half tablespoons, but we're going to divide that by half. So that's about three quarters of a tablespoon. And I'm just kind of guessing on that amount. This is baking soda or also known as sodium bicarbonate. And we're going to mix that together. We're going to mix all of that baking soda into the glue. And then we're going to add a little bit of paint. Any kind of washable acrylic paint should do it. And we're going to make this pink. So we're going to add not too much because I don't want it to change the texture too much. So we're just going to add maybe a tablespoon of paint. Oh, it's very thick, so it shouldn't affect the texture of the slime, I hope. I've never done this before with the paint, so it's interesting to see how it's going to turn out. So I'm just going to keep mixing until the paint is all blended in, although I kind of like the marbleized look that we're getting here. So maybe I won't worry about mixing it too thoroughly. I know that the the uh, once it's mixed you can add more. Okay now we're gonna add sprinkles. Okay what I'm using for sprinkles are you can use beads or glitter I've got these cute little stars and I just think it's going to make it really cool. This one there that's not cut properly, we'll leave that one out. But I think it's going to be really cool for the Barbies to play with. So we're just going to mix that in. It's not a lot. I think I'm going to add a bit more because it's really not showing up all that well. So, whoa! There's a lot of uncut pieces in here. It looks like teeny weeny licorice. Oh, that gives me an idea. These would make really cool twizzlers for Barbie to eat. So I'm just gonna pick out all these long hard bits and save them for Barbie to play with. Stir in the rest of it. Kind of the texture of icing if you wanted to ice a cake, but I think that is going to change if we add the saline solution. Contact line saline solution, and we need two tablespoons of that. So we're just going to clean out this measuring spoon, scrape off all the slime mixture that's not slime yet and this would be two tablespoons so we're going to do one because I'm having the recipe it's only six ounces of glue instead of 12 ounces and there we go so we're going to stir that in now oh and it's definitely oh look at that the saline solution makes a huge difference it's now starting to take on the texture of slime. Well, I know kids love slime. Grown-ups, not so much, but I am gonna have to touch it with my hands. And like with most slimes, the more you knead it, the more texture you get in it and the less it sticks to your hands. So I'm gonna knead this quite a bit. I see, unfortunately, the sparkles don't show up all that well. But this is gonna be for Barbie to have fun with and I think the Barbies are going to love this. Just look how easy this was. This is great slime. Really, really stretchy. I just love the texture. And look, it's not even sticking to my hands anymore. 
Perfect. I don't know if it's gonna stick to Barbie or not. So I'm gonna test it out on this fashion doll that if she gets ruined, I won't be too upset. And oh look, she can jump into it. And I don't know what would happen if it got in her hair. If you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button down below and ring the bell next to it and you'll be notified of all my future videos. And look below, see where my Instagram account is with Barbie clothes and my other videos. Thanks for watching.